Hello everyone, hello, 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 good evening to everyone, good evening. My name is Mirdalyn, if tonight is your first night watching this live. So guys, please share the live, we are about to start. So tonight we're doing what with be verb, alright? So we're going to use the word what with be verb, alright? When you ask question, use the word what when you are asking questions perfect example what is all right so when we're talking about be verb we're talking about am is or are but for the singular pronoun we use is with the be verb all right we use the be verb is with the singular pronoun with the plural pronoun we use the be verb are. What is it? What is it? When I say it, I'm, to I'm talking about a thing. What is it? All right. Now, keep in mind, when you are asking questions, especially native speakers, they don't speak slow. They don't say, what is it? They say, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. So you basically you act like it's one word. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is a chair. It is a chair. We're talking about one singular noun, a chair. When something is singular, you use a with the noun, a chair. That means one chair. It is, or you can do the contraction form to say it, it's a, it's a, it's a chair, it's a chair. Another word, that's one chair. All right. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is a house, a house, house. It is a house, or you can use the contraction form and say, it's a house. It's a, it's a house. What is it? What is it? It is an apple. How come I have the word in right here? In order to separate two vowels, you add an N, you say an apple rather than a apple. You cannot say a apple. It needs to be an apple, an egg, an apartment. All right. It is an apple. Or you can say it's an, it's an, it's an apple. It's an apple. It's an apple. What is it? What is it? It is a tree. It is a tree. It's a tree. It's a, it's a tree. We're talking about one. What is it? What is it? It is a television. It is a television. Or you can do the contraction form and say, it's a television all right now we're gonna do it again but this time we're gonna go a little bit fast because keep in mind native speakers when they are speaking they don't speak slow so therefore you have to keep up all right what is it what is it what is it is it is it you got to read it like it's one what is it it's a chair it's a chair or it is a chair what is it what is it what is what is what is it what is it it's a house it's a house normally when we are speaking we normally use the contraction all right to make things shorter or to make things easier all right it's a house. What is it? What is it? It's an apple. 
It's an it's an apple. Napple. Napple. You connect the words. It's an apple. What is it? What is it? It's a tree. What is it? It's a television. All right. So now we're going to do the plural side right now. All right. So when we are using the word what be verb, we have to use it with R. Is is for singular. One. R is for two or more. All right. So what are they? What are they? Look over here. I had what is it? Now, we were talking about one thing, which was the chair. It. It is a chair. All right? So that is why we have over here, what is it? All right? Over there, we don't have it. We have more than two right here. First first third person singular. We're talking about it. It is we're talking about one thing, which is the chair. Over here, since we have more than one, it's no longer third person singular. All right, it's plural. So we're going to use they. They are. All right, what are they? When I say what are they, I'm talking about the two chairs. All right, over there we had one chair. Right here we have two chairs. What are they? What are they? They are chairs. All right? You need to add an S because it's plural. Over here, you don't have to because we only have one chair. They are chairs. Or you can do the contraction and say, they're chairs. They're chairs. What are they? What are they? What are they? They are houses. All right? We have to add an S because it's more than one. Since it's plural, when you add the S, it becomes houses. Now, when it's singular, you don't need to add an S because there is only one house. All right? This is a house. All right? It is a house. These are houses. They are houses. All right? What are they? What are they? They are apples. Again, S, because we have four apples. They are apples. Or you can say, they're apples. Contraction form. They are in there means the same thing, all right? What are they? What are they? They are trees. We have S because there is more than one tree, all right? So since we have many, we need to make it plural and say they are trees. If we're doing contraction form, we're going to say they are trees. What are they? What are they? They are television. They're television with an S. All right. They are plural. So now if we're going to do something together right now, I can say to you, hold on, let me use a couple of things so we can do it together. All right. Now. If I say to you, if I say, what is this? Now, I'm only carrying one thing. What is this? This is a marker. All right? It is a marker. What is it? When you say it, you're talking about a thing, not a person. It is. It is a marker. Now, what are they? Now I have two. What are they? They are markers. What is it? 
It is a marker. What are they? They are markers. Now, what is this? It is a credit card. It is a credit card. The reason why I say it is, I'm only carrying one credit card. So I'm going to say to you, it is a credit card. Now, what are they? Now I have two. What are they? They are credit cards, all right? So when you have one, you say, what is it? And you will answer, it is a card. Now, since I have two, if I have two or more, I have to say, what are they? Because keep in mind, the verb tells you they are when something is plural, all right? What is it when it's only one thing? What are they when it's plural, all right? Now, so if I have this pocketbook right here, I'm going to say to you, what is it? What is it? I'm saying what is it because I'm only carrying one. It is a pocketbook, all right? But if I have two, I would have said to you, what are they? What are they? They are pocketbooks, all right? So now, I'm carrying a small bottle of juice, all right? What is it? What is it? It is a bottle of juice. What are they? Now I have two in my hands. What are they? They are bottles of juice. All right? Now, bottles of juice. Now, in that case, you're going to add an S on bottles, not on juice. You're not going to say bottle of juices. You're going to say bottles of juice. All right? What is it? What are they? Now, if I say what is it? What is it? It is my hand. All right? It is my hand. Now, if I have two, I'm going to say, what are they? They are my hands. If I have one table, I will ask, what is it? What is it? It is a table. Now, if I have more, I will ask you, what are they? They are tables. Now, this is what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to read them over. And I'm going to teach you guys exactly how native speakers would ask that. All right? So, if I'm going to go slow for you to hear me, I'm going to ask, what is it? But native speakers... When they are asking questions, they're not going to say, what is it? They're going to say, what is it? What is, what is, what is, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a chair. It's a, it's a chair. What is it? It's a house. It's a house. It's a, it's a. You're not going to say it's a, it's a, a. It's going to give you the sound, like the schwa sound, a. It's a, it's a, it's a house. What is it? It's an apple. It's an, it's an, it's an apple. It's an apple. You connect them. It's an apple. What is it? What is it? It's a tree. It's a tree. What is it? It's a television. Television. When something ends with I-O-N, it's N. All right? Television. Not television. Television. All right? Now, let's do the plural part now. What are they? What are they? What are they? They're chairs, or they are chairs. What are they? What are they? They're houses. They're houses, or 
They are houses. What are they? They are apples. They are apples. What are they? What are they? They are trees. They are trees. What are they? What are they? Their television, all right? So you use what is to ask question, all right? Now keep in mind, if your question is in the singular, you're gonna say what is. But if it's in the plural format, you're gonna say what are, all right? Just like if I wanna know about someone, I'm not gonna say what, I'm gonna say who, who is this? Who is this? I'm talking about one person. Who is this? This is Amy. This is Amy. This is, is, is for singular. All right? You use is with singular noun. This is Amy. Now, if I ask, who are they? It's plural now. Who are they? Who are they? They are Tracy and Amanda. Now, I just gave you two names because it's two people. So if I had one person, I would have asked, who is this? She is Sandra. Who is this? He is Abraham. Who is this? This is Michael. Who are they? They are Caleb and Jonas. Who are they? They are Almatone and Colbert. Who are they? They are Rosie and Rosna. All right? So you use the word is for singular noun and are for plural noun. All right? So now, Let's jump to a different lesson, all right? So now I'm gonna talk to you guys about this is and that is, all right? So this is and that is is used for singular noun that is close or that is far away. Now, if I'm carrying one marker and this marker is close to me, I'm gonna say, this is a marker. But if the marker is a distance away, I'm going to say that is a marker. This is my marker. That is my marker. This is my marker. That is my marker. Or I can say is my marker. Or that is my marker. All right? So, This is my credit card. That is my credit card. This is my credit card. That is my credit card. So when it's close, this is. When it's further away, that is. Same way with plural. We use these are or those are with plural noun that's either close or further away. These are my markers. Those are my markers. These are my markers. Those are my markers. I have two credit cards now. I'm holding two and they are close to me. So therefore, I'm gonna say, these are my credit cards. Those are my credit cards. These are my credit cards. Those are my credit cards. Now, I'm holding two bottles. This is my bottle. That is my bottle. This is my bottle. That is my bottle. These are my bottles, those 
are my bottles these are my bottles those are my bottles if I have a student standing next to me I'm gonna say this is my student if the student is further away I'm gonna say that is my student now if I have two students close to me I'm gonna say these are my students and I'm gonna add an s on students because it's plural now so if I have two or more students in front of me I'm gonna say these are my students if they are further away I'm gonna say those are my students now you have one teacher standing in front of you you're gonna say this is your teacher this is your teacher because I am close to you but if I'm further away you're gonna say that is your teacher this is your teacher that is your teacher now let's say that you had two or more teachers if they are close you're gonna say these are your teachers with an s those are your teachers when the teachers are close you're gonna say these are when they further away you're gonna say those are all right now if someone walk into your house let's say you have a friend and your friend comes to visit you how will you introduce your friend to your family if you have a son or if you have two daughters or if your husband everyone is in the house if your son is closer to you you're gonna say this is my son if your son is down the hallway you're gonna say that is my son if you have one daughter close to you you're gonna say this is my daughter if that daughter is further away you're gonna say that is my daughter if you have two daughters closer to you these are my daughters with an s these are my daughters if your daughters are down the hallway you're gonna say those are my daughters if your husband is close to you this is my husband if your husband is down the hallway that is my husband this is when it's close that is when it's away singular these are when they are close and those are when they are away this is my family if I'm saying this is my family that's because my family is closer to me but if they are away I'm gonna say that is my family if I'm walking down the street and I'm closer to my house I'm gonna say this is my house this is my house because my house is closer but if my house is further away I'm gonna say that is my house the house you're looking at down the street that is my house this is my block the block is close that is my block the block is further away this is my car the car is close that is my car if the car is away but if you have two or more cars if they are close you're gonna say these are my cars these are my cars they are close and they are plural but if they are further away you're gonna say those are my cars now when you're talking with someone over the phone if they are telling you about their problem you're gonna say that is your problem the reason why you are telling that person that is your problem instead of this is your problem is because the person you are communicating with they are not close to you so therefore whatever that person is telling you that's your problem but if the person is close right here in front of me this is your problem all right this is my problem because it's here that is my problem it's over there this is my shoes it's right here that is my shoes okay but if they are plural i'm gonna say these are my shoes if they are away i'm gonna say those are my shoes all right again
This is my marker. That is my marker. These are my markers. Those are my markers. This is my bottle. That is my bottle. These are my bottles with an S. Those are my bottles. This is my pocketbook. That is my pocketbook. This is my pocketbook. That is my pocketbook. If I had two or more, I would have said, these are my pocketbooks. Those are my pocketbooks. All right? So, when something is close, you say, this is one thing. When one thing is away, you say, that is. When two or more things are close by, you say, these are. When two or more are away, you say, those are. What is it? It's a chair. What is it? It's a house. What is it? It's an apple. What is it? It's a tree. What is it? It's a television. What is it? What are they? They are chairs. What are they? They are houses. You say houses. Some people, they will say house. You don't say house. You say house. Houses. 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 They are houses. What are they? They are apples. What are they? They are trees. What are they? They are televisions. I want to take this time to thank each and all of you guys for watching. If tonight is your first time watching me, I want to welcome you. If that's your second or third time, welcome again. My name is Mia Delen. We meet every Mondays at 7.30. If you have not subscribed with me on YouTube, after this live, go to YouTube, type Speak English with Mia Delen. That's how you'll be able to subscribe with me. Please don't forget, if tonight is your first time watching us, hit on follow. Each time we're live, you will get a notification. Make sure your notification is active. Guys, please share the live for me. Share it on YouTube. Share it on Facebook. Share it with your friends, your family. I will see you guys next Monday at 7.30 right here on this page. Have a blessed night. Stay positive.